Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Our today's topic is Russian formalist criticism or Russian formalism in short. So friends, this video is going to be very helpful for you. So, please watch the video till the end. So, let us try to know first what is the Russian formalism is actually what is Russian formalism. So first, what is Russian formalism? Russian formalism is a school of literary criticism. Russian formalism is a literary theory that seeks to find out what makes literature literary or how literature generates or possesses the literaryness how an everyday common experience is made to look fresh new different, extraordinary, and even strange. So what is the science behind this process? The, when the formalist, when the Russian formalists go to examine the method in which a worn out object is an worn out object is made to look different an worn out object an worn out object is made is presented in a new light. The familiar things appears to be fresh and new. The formalists notice that it is because of literary devices. The use of special language. Here the formalists emphasize on literary language and at the same time they distinguish between the ordinary use of language that is practical use of language and the literary use of language. The primary function of ordinary language is to communicate a message, a piece of information to the auditors. While the literary language has no practical function at all. Rather, it simply makes us see different. It affects our perception of an object or an event presented by using words 
referring to it. The purpose of a work of art is to change our mood of perception from practical and automatic to the artistic. In his essay, Viktor Sokolovsky, one of the critics of Russian formalism, in his essay, Art as Device, in some ed edition, Art as Technique, he clearly makes that the, the art, art is the, an art is an expression of the artfulness of an object. The object is not important. An object which is presented in a renewed form is not important, but imparting literariness is important. Friends, again, the Russian formalists make another clear distinction between fabula and sujet. The English of fabula is story and the English of sujet is plot. You know that story, story is a chronological sequence of events or incidents and plot is the actual presentation of the story in the narrative. Plot defamiliarizes the familiar. Plot plays a vital role in the defamiliarization of an common everyday experience. So, to the formalists, Russian formalists, plot is more important than story, that is, fabula. So, Russian formalism, let me sum up. Russian formalism, their main concern is how literature possesses the literaryness. Literaryness, literary, literaryness of literature is their main concern, their area of their area of evaluation, interpretation, or explanation. So Russian formalism is constituted or formed by two groups of two groups of Russian two literary groups of Russia. So one is the Moscow linguistic circle that is in Moscow and the, the Society for the Study of Poetic Language in Peters, in St. Petersburg or Petrograd. So these two groups form at the initial stage the Russian formalist criticism. So literaryness of literature is their prime concern. This is the analyze in their theory. So critics, the leading critics of this school 
are Viktor Sokolovsky, Boris Ichenbaum, Roman Jacobson, Yuri Tilianov, Vladimir Kruk, and etc. Period. The period of Russian Formalism is the second decade of the 20th century to say precisely the period of Russian Formalism is 1910 to 1930. Next place, the place of Russian Formalism at the initial stage, they were originated or formed in Moscow and Petrograd, that is St. Petersburg. Influence the school or other theory which were influenced by this formalism from by this school is the school of Mikhail Bakhtin and structuralism. Affinity with other schools, similar approaches to literature, uh, the school which had similar literature uh, approach to literature or uh, the school which has similarity with Russian colonialism is new criticism, another literary criticism, literary theory. Next, opposite school of Russian formalism are Marxist criticism, radio response criticism, speech act theory, and new criticism. And key concept of Russian formalism is defamiliarization, that is in Russia, it is called, in Russia, it is called Russian language, it is called Ostra Noni, making strength. Viktor Sapkowski uh, brought this uh, concept in typical world. Your defamiliarization is, is a technique which uh, used to make familiar things uh, fresh and new, uh, different, extraordinary, and even strange. And key terms of Russian formalism are tabula and surya that I have already discussed. So tabula and surya about uh, surya or plot. Victor Sapkowski once said that they had, that is, the Russian formalists had more revolutionary concept of plot than Aristotle. So, this is all about our today's topic, that is, Russian formalist criticism or Russian formalism in short. So please subscribe my channel and share with your friends. Thank you for watching.